So until now, we've sort of freehanded uh, things that we've been drawing. Now this time, let's go ahead and draw something and specify critical dimensions. So first, we're going to draw a box. So why don't you go ahead, again, that's B on your keyboard. Now let's just go ahead and draw a box somewhere around the origin, like that, and then hit Escape. So I just want my one box there. Okay, so to specify our critical dimensions, what we're going to do is we're going to specify the properties of the box. So what we'll do is we'll left-click to select the box, and then we'll right-click, and we'll bring up this properties menu right here. So again, I selected the box, I right-clicked, and I'm going to go to properties here. Okay? So now we have this properties menu opened up. So here, I can specify any of these critical dimensions. Now, as we go through this part, I want you to be very careful to not touch width or height. And I'll repeat that. Please, for the moment, do not touch width or height. We're going to come back to that in just a minute. Okay? So what I want you to do is set left to zero and bottom to zero. And then I want you to set right to 15 and top to 20. Again, if you touch width or height, it's actually going to screw you up. And we'll come back to learn that in just a minute. Okay? So you set left to zero, bottom to zero, right to 15, and top to 20. And then click OK. And then you should see that the box snaps to where you told it to, right? So the bottom here is at zero. It lines up with the origin. The left lines up with the origin. We're 15 and 20, just like that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. OK, so I, I, told, so I told you not to touch width or height. Let's come back and do that. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to just watch this part first and then try it on, and then we'll try it on yours together. So if you watch it on, if you watch this on mine, I'm going to adjust the width from 15 to 18. And then I want you to watch what happens to the left and the right. So I'm going to adjust my width. I'm going to set this to 18. Did you see what happened there? What happened was we added a total of three to the width. But Layout Editor added one and a half to the left and one and a half to the right. So it took, we added three to the width total, but then it split that three microns between the two, between the left and the right. So it adjusted the width from the very, from the center of the object. Okay, and if I do that, it's going to adjust from the center. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and adjust the height up to 25 and then watch what happens on yours and see what it does to the top and the bottom and then go ahead and click OK. So again that's I want you to adjust the height to 25 and watch what happens to the top and bottom and then click OK. Okay, you adjust tw this to 25 I click OK, right, and it's adjusted from there. And so generally speaking, anytime we want to specify anything, such as critical dimensions, we're going to use properties for other stuff later, we will always do so using properties. So we think we want to specify something, we're going to do it through the properties.